Very best of afternoon to all. Today we'll be solving check for binary search tree. It's a medium level problem. It's a medium level problem and can be solved within a time limit of uh, 5 to 10 minutes. Your task is to complete the function is binary search tree and we have to return 1 if the given tree is a binary search tree and we have to return false if the given uh, given tree is, uh, is not a binary search tree. So first uh, let us uh, develop the strategy to solve this problem. Before that we need to understand the uh, uh, concept lying behind this problem. The concept behind concept behind is BST problem is that if we perform if we perform in order traversal if we perform in order traversal on, on a binary search tree we will get the elements in we will get the elements in sorted increasing order so that's the concept behind the is binary search tree problem if you perform in order travel slot and binary search tree we will get the elements in increasing sorted order sorted increasing order so let us develop the strategy to solve this problem step one initialize all required variables all required variables uh, the record variable is a vector vector of integers if you are using Java then you can go for a list of integers so step 1 is done we will move to step 2 perform in order traversal and in order traversal and perform in order traversal and add the element to the add the add the data part to to the vector that is step 2 and step 3 is check whether the check whether whether the elements of vector are in elements of vector are in increasing sorted order increasing sorted order so let's have a try run on this problem we'll have this binary search tree so step one initialize all the required variables so we'll be initializing a vector so vector will be empty initially and we are going to perform in order traversal on this tree and add the element add the and add the data part to the vector so we will be performing in order traversal on this tree and if you perform in order traversal on the tree the first element that will be inserted is 7 then 8 will be inserted then 10 will be inserted then 39 will be inserted and we have to check whether the elements are in increasing sorted order here the elements are in increasing sorted order so we have to return true if the elements are not in increasing sorted order we have to return a false if not increasing order increasing order return false stating that stating that it's not a binary search tree stating that it's not a bst so that's the strategy to solve this problem so let us code the solution now so step one initialize all required variables we'll be doing it outside we'll be performing it outside the binary search record function so vector or of int vec in order to use vector in c++ you have to include the hash include vector so step one is done step two perform in order traversal and add data part to vector so step two perform in order traversal and add data part to the vector so void in order not star root not star x let it be anything so so for every recursive solution there will be two stages one is base condition and another is recursive part recursive part so 
If you don't know how to perform in order traversal, I insist you on watching my in order traversal video. You'll get a hang of it. So if base condition is x equal to equal to null pointer, return empty, and let's move to the recursive part. The recursive part is since it is uh, since we are following in order traversal, we have to follow LDR pattern. So recurs left first L in order x left. Now we have to add that we will be moving with the data thing. So we have to add the data to the vector. So vec dot pushback. X data in order x right. So we have completed our step to perform in order traversal and add the data part to the vector. And we have to follow the step three now. That will be performing in the is BST function. Before that, we have to clear the vector. Clear function. Of course, we'll be having multiple uh, test cases. It's a must that you have to clear the vector initially. So clear the vector, call the in order function, in order root, and step three. We have to check whether 3.1 is, if it's not increasing order, then return false. So we'll be following this now. So for int i is equal to one, i less than vec dot size, i plus plus, If vec i is greater than vec i minus 1, that means they are not in increasing order, then we have to return false. And finally, a step 4 to show that we got a proper pure bind results, we have to return true. So we will submit the solution. And we got the correct answer. Thank you and have a great day.